Are you watching the Olympics? They're absolutely fantastic. And we salute the Olympics for throwing out four teams for tanking, purposely losing to get better draws in the round robin. And those teams were, let's see, we got one from China, two from South Korea and Indonesia. Goodbye, guys. Come on. The Olympic spirit is all about stronger, faster, higher. And that is not allowed. Now, us big tough guys have a hard time using the L word, but when it comes to the Olympics, I love the Olympics. How about those five, five gymnasts from America winning the gold medal? Gabby winning the individual, Lockie Phelps, Allison Smith, Missy Franklin, I love it all. But I heard a story the other day that we just need to hear and be inspired by. Her name is Taylor Ritzel. What sport is she in? None of us really know. But when I heard a story about her mom dying two years ago of cancer and being there right by her mom's side and promising her that I'm going to make the Olympic team when she didn't even have an outside chance of doing it, well, she just represented America in the games in rowing. And two weeks ago, after the tragedy in Colorado, this young woman put it on her shoulders to say, you know what, Colorado, I'm going to do the best job and dedicate my performance not only to my mom but to you. And today, I can proudly say that today, Taylor Ritzel and her girls in U.S. rowing won the women's eights. Congratulations and what an inspiration. Waffle fries. Everyone's talking about chicken. I go to Chick-fil-A for the waffle fries. I'm one that found myself being an independent bystander, watching the mayors in the north get mad at Kathy, who owns Chick-fil-A, and going back and forth, if you can't open a Chick-fil-A here, and you can't have a belief in something, and ladies and gentlemen, I went on Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day, and let me tell you, not only were the waffle fries good, the chicken was good, and I think we should support freedom of speech. We all have different opinions in life, so to pick friends because they have a different opinion of you, I think is wrong. I'm going to support Chick-fil-A as well as Amazon.com that supports gay marriage. Where do I stand? I just support America and the true values of hard work. All right, the keys to a long-lasting relationship. We all need to listen in on this, so lean in. The key is not how your partner reacts to negative news, but how do they react to positive news. According to psychiatrist Dr. Gable, a recent study indicated, see how your partner responds when you come home excited about some news. Are they genuinely joyous or do they act indifferent or even possibly jealous? Those are indications that this relationship will not work. So get out of it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the two-minute quickie each and every day right here on Get Connected.